Hi guys, Rainy here and welcome to Avada PDF Invoice. In this onboarding video, I'm going to show you on how to quickly set up the admin's functionalities. So now let's get started. Basically, Avada PDF Invoice allows you to create and pin out the billing documents for your orders. It includes the order templates, the invoice, packing slip, and refund templates. All right. So first of all, I recommend you to jump right into the settings to make sure that all of your store information here is the correct because they will be reflected on your billing documents. Also, if you want your customer, they can view the billing documents and print them out in your online store. Please enable these options. Select the document that you allow them to print out here. All right, so this is the first simple step to get started. Next one, now let's create a billing document template. Please click on the templates page. Here you're gonna see there are four previewed templates according to four types of the billing documents, invoice, refunds, order, and packing slip. If you want to create new ones, click new templates button here. If you want to edit our preview templates, click right on it. For example, I will edit the invoice template. All right, so in this editor page, you can preview the templates at the center of the screens. And now let's look at the left menu here. There are several sections that allow you to customize your templates. In general, you can enter the name for your templates, select the currency for it. It can be used your store currency or the billing currency. Next one, you can select this template to assign for your real orders or your draft order. Move to the next one is to choose the teams for your templates. So when you hover to the current team, you see a switch button. Click right on it. And Nevada have variables templates that preview for you. You can select one of them here. For example, I select this one and click load team. Okay, so here is the new teams that I've just loaded. Enable print by default means that whenever an order created, this template will be used to print out. So next one is allow you to customize the contents inside your templates. You can edit to show the order information. You can choose to show which payment and shipping information or the item's order information and the order total information and other extra data in your templates. For example, showing order numbers in your invoice or showing a custom sequence number as the invoice number. This means that you will add a prefix to your order numbers and that will make up the invoice number. All right, like this, you can see it in the previews. So similarly, after you're done with other the contents option here, you will move to the last step is to design um, your templates. You can customize the logo site here. You select the font for the text inside the templates and you can select the primary color. Normally, we will like, adjust it to match the brand color. For example, here, um, our logo is blue. I will change to the color code of our brand. To change the color code, click on the last color block here. And it allows you to just paste the color code here. So I just enter our brand color page and it will change accordingly in the preview you can see it here. And after you've done all the additions, please make sure you click save to save your templates. And then you can do similarly with other template here. Okay, that's the second. Basically, that's um, the main functionalities of Vara PDA Invoice. I hope that my video helpful. And if you want to see the details instructions and you get any 
trouble like configuring any part of the app so you can always contact us by click on the help desk button here and send us a message thank you for watching